If you're trying to add captions to your YouTube shorts, TikToks, or Reels, then you landed on the right video because I'm going to share with you step-by-step step exactly how to do that. Let's get into the content. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly how I go about doing this, right? You're going to see that the process is very, very simple. And the tool we're going to be using to do this is called Descript. So Descript is an AI video editor that allows you to edit your videos using text. So imagine if you type in on Microsoft Word and you mess up on something and you hit the delete button, you can edit your videos in the exact same way to get access to this tool down below in the description there'll be a link that link is going to allow you to get access for free now if you do a lot of editing like myself then i will highly recommend you go with the paid plan but i'll leave that part up to you all right all right so let's go ahead and get started so once you get inside this is what it's going to look like now over here you see this new project we're going to go ahead and click on that now once this opens up what we want it to do is we want it to transcribe our video so that the words can automatically appear so i'm gonna go ahead and click on choose a file to transcribe i'm gonna go in here to my videos click on quick time recordings and then right here where it says uh, thumbnail mistakes Descript I'm gonna just go ahead and click on that real quick all right so now what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me if I want to transcribe I'm gonna go ahead and hit done and then when, as it's doing this thing we're gonna give it a few minutes and then we're gonna come back on all right so as we can see it's pretty much transcribed everything that we said inside of our video like I said this is meant to be a short so it's not very long now from here I want to go ahead and turn this into an actual short so I click right here on these three dots I go to video settings I go to portrait and then at this point I want to click on this you see how it highlights around it and then I want to expand this just like this I want to then go ahead and bring this down and as you can see it's kind of to the side a little bit so I want to adjust that so all I'm gonna do is just kind of bring me into the middle just like that okay now at this point I want to go ahead and make the words actually pop up as I'm saying them so from here I'll go ahead click inside of this and then from here I'll go ahead and click on the text all right now down here it says captions I want to click on captions now you see something just popped down at the bottom right now this is where I want to go into editing the font to a font that's gonna be appealing so there's a very very popular font right now and it's actually called the bold font it's probably the one that you've seen on a majority of videos by a lot of huge creators all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move me out the way because I know I'm in the way real quick and then you see how it says the bold font I'm gonna go ahead and click on that now the bold font is not actually inside of Descript so do keep that in mind but I'm about to show you how to download it so let me go over here to an internet browser and then up here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to google.com now on google.com you want to type the bold font okay and then you're gonna see this right here www.thefont.com I'm gonna go ahead and click on the bold font and then right here you just go ahead and hit download you can download this for free once you download it then you come back inside of Descript let me show you how it's done you come back inside of Descript you click on the font and then you hit add fonts to the drive now all you got to do is just hit choose a file add your font in and then it's gonna be enough for you to use each and every time that you want to all right so you can see that that's an easy process now let me go ahead and move me back over I might have to move me a few times but what I like to do as far as size is I usually go with either 90 or I go with 95 depends on what I'm trying to do now from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looked like all right so you can see that's what it looked like right now but we need to do a little bit of adjusting so I'm gonna click on this then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a border okay so my border I usually like to go with 25 and then what I like to do from there is I'll go right here where it say live text and then I'll click on the settings for that and then I'll click active words so as I'm saying it you're gonna see the word light up all right so I'll go to background and let me move me out the way because I know I'm probably in the way all right so from here I'm gonna click on this because I don't want no color on that right now and then for the feel I do want a color I want the yellow color right so you can see how it's looking already and then from here what I do is let me go ahead and click out of that and then down here where it says effects what I like to do is I like to add a shadow to give it more of a pop so I'm gonna go shadow and then in the shadow settings what I want to do is I want to put the blur all the way up to a hundred percent this is just what I do okay you don't have to do that but this is just what I do and then I like to go with the darkest black that I know and typically that's zero three zero three zero three so now I know that we got what we need so let me go ahead and move me back over real quick and then I'll just click out of that all right so now we're gonna see what it looked like so I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna let it play YouTube thumbnails mistake number one okay so you can see that looks pretty good right now 
Now, something else to keep in mind is where is place. So I like to put mines, you know, somewhere right here. And if you want something that's more accurate that you could just put in, what you could do is you can make sure you clicked on this. And then up here, what I like to do is I like to go with 1400 or either 1399. That's usually a good spot. And so that way you, it's not conflicting with the like button, the dislike button, uh, and then all of the other things that's on the side, which could affect it and then make it look kind of sloppy. All right. So now at this point, we got our words. So let's just play it again. Let me show you how to work it. Mistake number one, using low quality of pixelated images. Okay. Boom. So we good on that. Now let's say for instance, you want to start adding emojis and different things like that. So what you can do is let me go ahead and just put when creating inside of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a slash. All right. So we got a slash that's in front of it. And then if I only want this section, what I need to do is I need to close it off. So I'll close it off with another slash. And then inside of here is where I want that emoji to be. So I'm going to go over here to emojipedia.com. Uh, this is the website that allows you to grab different emojis and different things like that. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to just put camera since we're talking about creating. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Click right here on the camera hit copy go back over to Descript real quick and then inside of here what I need to do is I need to actually hit the edit button so I'm gonna go ahead and hit correct come right here like this paste it in there hit correct and then now you can see we got our camera so you can see that's how easily you know we can add emojis but what's so cool about Descript is now we're gonna go over to YouTube thumbnails and I'm gonna add something else in all right so let me go ahead and hit the back button real quick now from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit a slash in front of the mistake number one and then I'm gonna go ahead and close off the mistake number one now at this point everything within those slashes is what's gonna be affected so that way it doesn't affect your entire short form video now at this point I'm gonna go up to media and then you can see they give you videos that you can add and you can type in whatever it is that you want so if I want something baseball bound then I can just type baseball and boom it gives me a baseball clip and then you can put that inside of your short very very simple same thing with images you just go ahead and and type it in and it's gonna have what you need so I'm gonna just go ahead and take that off so you can see what's going on and then we got giphy gifts giphy stickers and this is what a lot of people use because they're they're small and they're making some type of action to keep the person engaged and then we got the backgrounds different backgrounds you can put on and sound effects music so this way you don't even got to go out of the platform to go searching for stuff to download it really the only thing I really um, you know left for was like an emoji so then I can bring it back in here but you really don't have to to do that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a Giphy sticker that's typically what I like to use inside of my shorts so since we're talking about mistakes let me just see if they got something for a mistake all right so boom so something that I could do is I could say let's say I want to put this X in there so all I got to do is you know adjust it to put it to the right size and I could put that X right here or I can even put that X right here or whatever it is that I want to do right and then I'm gonna show you what it looked like so I'm gonna hit play here's three common mistakes to avoid when creating YouTube two thumbnails mistake number one you see how it just kind of pops up and you can adjust that right so like if I click on this I can make it loop which is already looping by default or I could just make it happen once so if it's taking the action it'll only make the action happen once and then you can also adjust the timing on it as well to kind of make it pop up and do the exact one that you want that's up to you you can also do effects on it right so chroma key blur film grain even green screen now if you want to adjust your green screen then you can actually do that as as well which is pretty cool and then the animation so you can either make that make it zoom and pan so let me show you exactly what that looks like so when I go ahead and hit play you're gonna see mistake number one using you see how it kind of moved now some of them you're gonna have to play with to see what it actually does but you can see that it's very simple for you to actually you know get your subtitles done so that way you don't have to manually do each and every single one by yourself now let's say that you're done so what you want to do from here is you want to come right up here to where it says file you want to click on composition Position. You want to hit export and then right here you can see it has video and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the drop down button Now you can see it has different resolutions, right? So if I click on this you can see 720 1080p 1440p and 4k, right? So whatever quality you want you can go ahead and make that happen inside of here And then you can adjust the quality you can keep it on high That's typically what I do and then it also has like metadata You can adjust this stuff if that's what you want to do now You do have other options such as audio GIF 
timeline, the transcript, and the subtitles. So you can actually get the subtitles from this as well, which is very, very powerful. And then after you do that, all you're gonna do is you're gonna hit export, and then it's gonna take you through the saving process, and you are good to go. Hopefully you got some value from this video, and if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you wanna get access to Descript, go ahead and use that first link down below in the description. That'll give you instant access for free. Now, if you decide to upgrade to the paid plan like I have, then it's definitely something that I highly recommend. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.